In this video, we will learn how to find the missing values in line segments. Here we have a line segment MO. The line MO is the entire line, but it's split away in between at MN and NO. And it's congruent. Can you see this line? That means they are congruent. Now, how would you find the total length till MO? MN is given as 4.6, so this is also 4.6. Add them up, it'll be 9.2 centimeters. Same way we have to find WY. Here the total length WX is given as 8.8 .8 mm. And how much is half of it? See this total. These both are congruent. So half would be 4.4 millimeters or mm. That's how simple these problems are. And we will look into the next one. So the answers are same, 9.2. But you don't need to write it all. Directly choose the correct answer. That's it. Here now we need to find each segment. So over here they have asked us F and G. But they have told each of these segments are congruent. Can you see this line means they're congruent. All these line segments are congruent. So what you can do is you can directly count the number of segments. 1, 2, 3, 4 and divide 16 by 8 by 4. It'll be 4.8 by 2 is 2. So this is the answer in centimeter. Otherwise, you know this is all equal. So consider this to be X, X, X and X. Add them all up. X plus X plus X plus X, that is 4 times X, will be equal to 16.8. Therefore, 4X is equal to 16.8 or X is equal to 4.2 centimeters. I hope this is clear. Another similar problem. But here they have told to find the length of Q to T. That means 1, 2, 3 segments only. This is X, X and X. But to find X, you need to basically... Uh, add up all because that's the total length right so 14.4 will be equal to 4x x will be just 14.4 divided by 4 now you need to do this by yourself it's over 3 less than 4 so once you get that multiply that answer time 3 so whatever the answer you get multiply it 3 times and that will be q to t so that is one way to do it over here see first you find x that is 3.6 over here. This value, the total length, 14.4 divided by 4 is 3.6. Multiply 3.6 times 3 and you will get the answer 10.8. That is from Q to T. Here they have told DE, measure of DE needs to be found out. But we know CD and DE are congruent. So just equate these both. 2X plus 7 is equal to 4 times X minus 3. Now what you do is, let's write the left side as it is. Let's use distributive property here. Multiply 4 inside the brackets. It becomes 4x minus 4 times 3 is 12. And now let's group the x together and the numbers together. I'll take the 12 to the other side. It becomes plus 12 plus 7 equals. This 2x goes to the other side. 4x minus 2x. 12 plus 7 is 19 equals 2x. Divide both the sides by 2 you will get 9.5 equals x. That is the answer. That's how we do this. It's okay. Now, my bad. I did x value, but did I do de? No, I need to substitute it back. I can do any equation because both are congruent. I'll do both. See, you can substitute over here 2 times 9.5 plus 7. 2 times 9.5 is 19 plus 7. The answer is 26. And over here as well, 4 times x is 9.5 minus 3. You can just do 4 times 6.5. 6 fours are 24. 0.5 times 4 is 2. So 24 plus 2 is 26. The answer is equal. You must get because they both are congruent. And that is the final answer. Okay, the, It's 26 units because the measurement is not mentioned in any unit. Lastly, we have this problem here where we need to find u to x. That's the total length needs to be solved. First, let's equate 2 and solve the x value. 3x plus 1 equals 4x minus 6. How do you find for x? 3x goes to the other side. It'll be 4x minus 3x minus 6 to the other side, 6 plus 1. 7 is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1. So 7 equals x. Now let's find one length and multiply it by three or you can add them all up and substitute x. That's lengthier. So what I would do is I just substitute x over here. Three times seven plus one. 
7 times 3 is 21 plus 1 is 22. Now I know each segment is uh, x is sorry not x each segment is 22. So I'll just write over here 22. This is also equal congruent 22 22. So you can directly do 22 times 3 that is 66. That is the total measure of u to x. So 66 is the final answer. 66 units. Very easy and simple topic. I hope you have understood this thoroughly. If you have any doubts or any questions, please post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you very soon.